Oh, Jeff, please uh, come in. How you doing? Well, you know, it ain't easy being a detective in a sci-fi movie, but I'm a trying best as I can. For that boat you will buy, I will love you. For all the stuff that you buy me tour today. Uh, yes. I just, I just wanted to say thank you for watching me sing about my privileged, privileged life. I'm rich, so rich. It's not so hard being that privileged, I assume. I'll just pretend to feel guilty about it. <laughs> Lasagna. Now I'm a coming. Madame, the police are here to talk to you. Oh, um. Could you hide you the drugs You probably should not be saying that out loud, monsieur. Oh, oh, me, oh, hi. Hello, ma'am. Wait for me. Sorry to bother you, but this is vital to our case. Like, extremely, extremely vital to our case. What do you think a rich singer like me can help you with? Well, first of all, I just got to say that you're quite the singer. <clears throat> okay, what does that have to do with anything? You know, you could have called. You didn't have to come all the way down here and interrogate me in person. Oh, you don't have to tell me how to do my job. I know how to do my job very, very well. <clears throat> yeah. So at the end of the interrogation, yeah, I was there. I was just like, you've just mm -hmm. been interrogated. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, partner, you coming in? All right, I'll hold it, you two. I got a couple questions for you. I think I can handle this, Clifford. You going on without me. Oh, was he named after that uh, big red dog? Well, no. Oh, I see. So it was the Martin Short character in that one How movie. How did you know about that movie? I've never told anyone about it. It is a pretty good movie, after all. Martin Short. And yes, Charles Grodin should have gotten an Oscar for putting up with Martin Short. You and me? We're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later. Wait a minute. I was supposed to catch him.